Hello, and thank you for viewing this web demo of Cloud Utils App Performance. This is a follow-up demo to our recent high-level Cloud Utils App Performance webinar, which is available on our NetUtils blog. My name is Vanessa Cardwell. I'm the Marketing Manager here at NetUtils, and I'm joined this morning by Rochere van der Waal, VP Cloud Services at Eponema Technologies, who will be giving us an overview of the Cloud Utils App Performance solution. Cloud Utils App Performance allows enterprises to take full advantage of cloud, internet, and on-premise solutions, guaranteeing application visibility as a service. A simple, flexible cloud managed service from NetUtils, helping you improve user productivity, reduce user complaints, and get the most from your cloud apps. Um, so I'd like now to hand over to Roger, who's going to give us a quick demo of the solution. Thank you, Vanessa. So I'm swapping to a demonstration that is available to everybody. You just surf to epidemiotech.com, you go to as a service, and you have to click on Apps Work Test Drive, leave your contact details, and you will be instantly logged in to our service portal here. So actually the uh, Cloud Utils App Performance Service is based on an appliance in most of the cases that dials back into a cloud architecture. Now this cloud architecture is available through the service portal that we're actually looking at right now. So this service portal has two levels of administration. The first one is a monitor account, and that's the level that we have right now. And the second level is a service administration account, which would be hand handled by Cloud Utils. So if you're an IT manager and you have to deal with application performance issues, I think one of the most important things is to understand what's actually happening in the network in terms of resources, in terms of application usage. Maybe people are extensively using recreational applications like Salesforce, for instance, or let's call it social media like uh, Facebook or others. Well, if you don't have that visibility, it's difficult to get an answer and to provide an answer to your management about poor application performance. So I think one of the great things with uh, this service is that it has actually given you a lot of visibility just in a glance you'll understand what's happening in your network. So the first part here is illustrating the different application groups that are predefined. You see things like Office 365, ITSEC, cloud applications, BDI, social media, unified communications and the most important thing here is this quality flag. Well this quality flag actually reflects the way users in your organization are actually experiencing the performance of your application. Green means good, of course, it turns into amber, and then it can turn into red as well, where probably people will start picking up the phone and talking about dropping voice calls or slow VDI sessions or sluggish videos, for instance. What you see here on this part of the screen is actually the different physical locations where AppsWork is deployed. Well, we see that on this particular side, the color changed from green, and we see that, that, that we have an issue over there. So we see that we have a live quality score, and the quality score is something between, let's say, 0 and 10, and we see here that the quality score is around 6-ish. That means that we have an issue there that we can investigate. Now, the rest of this part shows you the different sites and locations on which AppStruck is deployed. It means that on the three different locations that you see here, we've deployed an appliance, and all the traffic that's not flowing between these different locations is flowing what we call out of the domain. Now, AppSwork comes predefined with a set of application groups and the associated business criticality. So for you as an IT manager, you do not have to go into difficult settings of cost profiles and other stuff. No, it's just about what is critical to our business. ERP very often is, as our unified communications, Office 365, EDI, but you see, for instance, that social media has been given medium business criticality. Well, that's where the dynamic bandwidth control actually kicks in. So a promise of this service is that the top and high critical applications will always get the necessarily network resources to properly work. Now, we can also deep dive into different applications that are part of, let's say, the unified communication group, as you see. Out of the box, there are about 100 apps that are supported. But if you have your own proprietary applications, well, you can also add them in the service portal and report on them and control them. You'll also have information about uh, 
the change of application performance, some information about your account. And I think what's really very helpful is what we call the dashboard. So suppose you get a, a, a support call. People, is, people are complaining about specific applications, poorly performing uh, ERP or Salesforce or whatever. But what you can see here is, first of all, you have a view of the whole domain. So basically, this illustrates you how applications are being performed across your whole network. And that also includes cloud applications. That's the beauty of it. We see that we have a, an overall quality score in the domain of near 10. That's very good. We have a global domain throughput. We have 233 domain active flows. And we see that almost all the sites are performing very well. Back to our promise. So the promise is that those top and high critical applications, they get what it needs to perform well. Well, this is actually proven here in this real-time graph. And over the last three hours, we see that those applications, they were performing like between 10 and 8. So if the application quality score is below 5, we consider that application experience is actually being affected. But anything above 5 means that applications and users, everything is running very, very smooth. Now suppose there is a particular site that always causes these poor performance problems, or a remote location with poor bandwidth, or maybe a bigger location with lots of applications and strange apps that are flowing there. Well, you will see instantly on this part here a site overview. You see the link usage, and for instance, we see clearly that the links are not maxed out here. And upload and download speed, we see the different application groups, their business criticality, top, high, and medium, and we see all those little green boxes here, which means that basically all the applications are running smooth, and users shouldn't complain about issues there. They, again, are linked to network resources. So what we can actually do then is also have a look at a specific particular site here. So we're drilling now down in the domain on the Fontenet site. And on the Fontenet site, what we see here again are those different application groups that are here classified by application quality score, so network services, cloud, and others. And we see that email is slightly underperforming compared to the other application groups. So we can check that there right now. We also see, again, those last three hours application quality score, but now it's not on the domain level, but on this particular site level. Again, we see that overall, the, you know, application quality is really very, very good. We also see information about the different type of application groups and the different traffic flows, inbound, outbound. We see also information about where all the traffic is going. And from this particular site, we see that most of the traffic is actually going out of the domain. So not going to remote sites, but out of the domain to partially a data center as well. Well, if we take a look at something here, so let's see there's an issue with web. So we can actually click on this web application here. And this is a live demonstration, so figures will constantly change here. But <laughs> let's, uh, let's check this one out. So we see that uh, we have an application group that's web. It's including HTTP and HTTP. And we can actually drill down now, as you can see here. There is an issue, but where is that issue actually uh, uh, situated? So we can now just, in one click of a button, see what's happening and what the issue is. We see that here, there's an issue for SHTTP, some desktop web traffic here that has a throughput issue. And, well, another interesting metric here is that apparently this is not linked to a server, for instance. So it's not a server issue. This is clearly a network issue. It's meaning here that there's a lot of TCP IP retransmits which means, of course, that the application performance is, is really badly affected by it. So this is really helping you to analyze all those different flows that are uh, going from all the different sites to different locations. So this is really extremely helpful. And you can just you know, with a click on the button, understand what's happening there, and make a difference between is this a network-related issue, or maybe it's a server issue, for instance. Now, this is all real-time, of course. What's interesting as well is accessing a set of reports that you have at your available here. So let's go back to the Fontenet site here and click on a specific report that IT managers allow, basically. So this is the application SLA report. So this actually displays over the last month the percentage of time with the qualified application quality score here, depending on their value. So the interesting thing here, and, and again, this is something you can easily share with your management, uh, will actually top and high critical applications, well, they're performing at a quality score of over 5 for 100% all of them, 
and some like unified communications, which is always very tricky to deploy and to manage, will 100% of the time more than 9.9. .9. So that gives very easy accessible reports. Very, very interesting. But another interesting thing we can gather from the reports is bandwidth upgrades. Um, bandwidth is not always the right answer to application performance issues. Because if you're introducing more latency, for instance, your apps won't run better. It's very bad for voice over IP traffic, for instance. So it's better to have a smaller bandwidth but higher quality. And using the Cloud Utils App Performance Guarantee Service really helps you to visualize all that information here. So if you need to upgrade your bandwidth, well, you can use one of the reports that are always already pre-canned here, and it will allow you to really take knowledgeable decisions on bandwidth users. So I think I can refer it back to our uh, initial homepage here, and I think I'll, uh, I'll hand it over back to, uh, to Vanessa. That's great, and um, thank you very much indeed for giving us that demo. Um, if you would like to um, any further information on Cloud Tools App Performance, then please do get in touch with us on the details that you see there. See there. Our Cloud Tools App Performance solution is completely packaged and prepaid, so no monthly invoices, and prices start from as little as four pounds per user per month. Very many thanks to you, Roger, and um, thank you to you all for viewing today's demo. <laughs>